Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve the activation error you may be receiving after upgrading to Windows 10 that would give you the error alert of 0x803f7001. Since this is an apparent activation issue, there are two different methods we're going to go through to hopefully resolve your issue. The first one, if you've upgraded from Windows 8 or Windows 7, we're going to try to change the product key and we're going to put our product key that we had in our previous version of Windows. As you should have hopefully have done, you should have written down your product key before upgrading. So if you do have your product key from your previous version of Windows available, we're going to go into Start. Then we're going to left click on Settings. Then Update and Security. Now we're going to go underneath activation and then we're going to left click on change product key. We're going to click on yes if you receive a user account control window. At this point you want to enter whatever product key you had in your previous version of Windows. If you're still getting an activation error what you want to do is go back over to the start button and right click on it then left click on run then type SLUI space and then the number 4 and then hit enter or click OK on this run box. At this point you want to select whatever your country or region is and then you want to select next. Once you insert your region there will either be a toll free or toll number for your call since I believe I inserted Algeria, it does not surprise me there is no toll free number not available. However, if you entered, say, let's go down here, let's say Canada, there is a toll free number available. So then at that point, you would just enter the confirmation ID and then you would be directed to call Microsoft directly and they will give you numbers to insert and once that is done hopefully your computer will be activated so since this computer is already activated I'm not going to enter the confirmation ID you do have to call this number first and then they will give you instructions from there so we're going to cancel out of this so hopefully one of those two methods work for you I would highly suggest restarting your computer in between both methods to make sure it took effect and as always I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next video Goodbye.